I'm not sure what you're going to be doing the day after Christmas, but I'm going to be watching the Cheez-It Bowl. That's right, Cal and Justin Wilcox finally get a bowl berth, and they're going up against Gary Patterson and the TCU Horn Frogs. Now, both of these teams have two of the best defenses in the entire country, so I think it'll be a very low-scoring affair, and it would make sense for that to be the case. When you look at TCU, they've had to play three quarterbacks throughout the season. First, it was Sean Robinson. He got hurt. Then it was Michael Collins. And lately, it's been Grayson Muehlstein, the fifth-year senior quarterback, led him to victory in their last two games to get them to bowl eligibility. So both of these teams, they're going to try not to hurt themselves because they've struggled giving the ball away turnover-wise. TCU minus six on the season. Cal, we know what they've done on the season, minus two in the turnover range. So when you look at the stars, I look at the defense for both of these teams. First and foremost, when you look at the Cal Bears, Jordan Kanashik, a first-team all-Pac-12 linebacker. Evan Weaver, a second-team all-Pac-12 linebacker. This duo is as good of a linebacking duo in the entire country. And then you add in Elijah Hicks, Ashton Davis, Cameron Bynum and company in the secondary. This is a big-time defense. It's going to make it very hard for Muehlstein and company to move the football. So if Cal can do that, which is what you'd expect, they're going to have to generate something on offense, and it's going to be the development in the bowl practices of Chase Garbers. He's going to have to have his most efficient game. How does he do that? Well, he gets the ball to Patrick Laird. Patrick Laird, 50 grabs on the season, which is tied for the team lead. So they try to get him the ball in a variety of different ways in space. And I think even Brandon McElwain, can he be that slash player and give them an explosive element to this offense that has lacked it throughout the season? Bottom line, this ball game will come down to one or two plays which team can make one on the offensive side. I think it'll be a very efficient game and, of course, a very physical one with Justin Wilcox and Gary Patterson squad. You can check this one out at ESPN on 6 o'clock Pacific on December 26th.